One of the beautiful things about the gospel of Jesus Christ is that it is progressive in its revelation and application. We cannot exercise our faith beyond what we believe to be possible. Jesus did not heal the sick in order to coax them to be Christians. He healed because it was his nature to heal. We are awakening to that marvelous truth, that Christ is not in the heavens only, nor the atmosphere only, but Christ is in you. The Spirit of God anointing the Christian heart makes the soul impregnable to the powers of darkness. In Christ we become God's sons, man's servants, and the devil's masters. When a Christian tries to live by reason, he is moving out of God's country into the enemy's land. The secret of Christianity is in being. It is in being a possessor of the nature of Jesus Christ. Science is the discovery of how God does things. Take the words of Jesus and let them become the supreme court of the gospel to you. Miracles are creative. Healing is the restoration of what has been. Beloved, it is not our long prayers but our believing God that gets the answer. The wonder is that Jesus proposed to make your heart and mine just as sweet, lovely, pure, and holy as his own. Lord, take every cursed thing out of my soul. That keeps me from believing the Lord Jesus Christ. Healing is not always obtained by saying a prayer. It is obtained by obeying God. There is only one reality. That reality is God. There is a mighty lot of difference between saying prayers and praying. The Spirit of God at work in a man goes thousands of miles beyond psychological influence. The reason for the resurrection is that the kingdom of Christ is not to be in heaven entirely. It is to be in this world. Christ is at once the spotless descent of God into men and the sinless ascent of man into God. And the Holy Spirit is the agent by whom this is accomplished. Men have said that the cross of Christ was not a heroic thing. But I want to tell you that the cross of Jesus Christ has put more heroism in the souls of men than any other event in human history. The ministry of Christianity is the ministry of the Spirit. It is the Spirit of God that inhabits the words, that speaks to the Spirit of another and reveals Christ in and through him. The reason that people do not have a rich, beautiful faith is that their spirit is denied the privilege of communion and fellowship with the Father. It is almost a sadness to my soul that men should be astonished and surprised at an ordinary, tangible evidence of the power of God. The reason people become sick is the same reason that they become sinful. They surrender to the suggestion of the thing that is evil, and it takes possession of the heart. 
Henry Fostick says, Until the new theology can produce the sinless character of the old theology, it stands challenged. The Spirit of God will go as far as your love reaches. Sin is what God thinks it is. If the church ever succeeds in doing that big, great, that unspeakable thing God purposes that we should do, it can only be when we enter into that divine compassion of the Son of God.